Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a test drive on the Bloomfield by Two Rock. I believe the model number is 65B. Anyway, I'll tell you all about this amp after I tell you about how I'm recording it. Uh, right now I'm playing a Han Telecaster, but I'll get something with humbuckers and kind of stratty too so you can get that flavor as well. But I'm running a Klotz cable directly from the guitar into the Two Rock. The two rock is being mic'd with the Royer R121 that's about a foot off this cabinet. Uh, the Royer is running into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So guitar, cable, amp, microphone, Pro Tools, the universe. So in an age where amps are getting smaller, it's, I really love that these guys are going old school, big, solid, 100 water, but giving you all these options to not only carve your tone where you want it, but number one, there's a... Um, half switch in back that will bring you down to 50 watts so it'll be a little more manageable. Now we're on 50 right now. The 100 is a little bit louder but not like twice as loud as you would imagine 50 to 100. But it's a little bit louder but it's nice to kind of quell that a bit for a smaller environment like this. And honestly I'm not going to show you the difference because you can't really get the feel unless you're in, in the room but um, the tone to me is basically identical. So very cool option. Uh, the front panel has a three-band EQ, um, but there's some uh, special ingredients in, uh, as well. Right here is an EQ switch which gives you, that gives you a uh, switch that's one that works better for single coils, where I am right now, and the, and the first one works better in humbuckers. So I like that, uh, particularly if you're playing out and you switch between those kind of guitars. Usually the volume disparity is so great you have to adjust your amp. Well, this is one flip of a switch adjustment. So that's very cool. Um, the three-band EQ, very expressive. I'm flat right now, but there's a boost section up top to let you kind of, you know, uh, adjust it that much further. And I've got this mid up. Now you can hear, here it is, mid up, mid down. To me, you're... Some mid-ranges seem to be a little bit high-end. This is kind of a nice warm mid. When you pump it up there, you can just cut a little bit better. I love that. Um, give you an idea on the, on the bass thing as well. Love that, man. It's, I like it flat, but boy, I could, I could see where that would be addictive to just leave that on all the time. However, when you're generating that much bottom end, you know, your frequency gets very big, so it might piss off your bass player. Anyway, love that. High end. Just gives you a little bit more of that punch. So what I like about these flip switches right there it's not like an over-the-top change, but it is a subtle difference that kind of helps you dial it in. Um, I won't bore you with these because they do what they do. You get the idea when you tweak it on your own. 
Uh, next, we're going to our lead channel. <laughs> Really expressive. Now I've got it goosed up there pretty good, uh, but we'll try it with some humbuckers later on so you can get the feel for that as well. Um, master and presence. And again, these are uh, flat. Now the reverb, I've got it at about, I guess, you know, a, a third of the way up. Well, not even that, like a, a maybe, well, maybe a third. But it's lush, man. Let's just Let me get back on our clean. Get her up into crazy land. Now, unless you're in a surf band, you probably won't need it there. But nonetheless, very cool. So another great ingredient is this tone stack, which you can control here as well or with the amp. This uh, foot switch comes with it. And man, it's solid. I like that. Uh, anyway, the tone stack uh, bypass, what it does, it removes the tone stack to the circuit, allowing more gain. So I guess it gives you just a straighter shot taking out the, the, uh, the tone. And it, it, it really opens it up. Like, say we're in clean. Now, it's still very clean, but man, there's just a lot more going on in that. So pretty great to be able to boost your, your clean signal like that. Oh, and for the record, this we're about halfway up on the, on the gain on the clean channel. And I've taken it all the way, which I won't do now because it would kill Perry, our cameraman. But, uh, but it's, you can put it all the way up there and it never breaks up. I mean, it gets, it gets close to it, but it is clean. There's a little bit of fur. Well, what the hell? Should we try it? It might overdrive too much, but here we are. This is the bypass. Whew. And again, my apologies, Perry. I know that was that had to be brutal for you. Luckily, I've lost most of my hearing, so it didn't bother me at all. Uh, but all the way up there, God, man, it it's still really clean. Um, in fact, I was playing pedal steel through this at my home, and it was just this huge clean freight train. So that's the front panel, but in back you have a passive effects loop, reverb center return controls, uh, a switch to go from 16 to 8 to 4 ohms, which actually brings us to this cabinet. This cabinet is open back and has uh, proprietary 2-Rock 1265Bs, but God, it is just a massive sounding cabinet. And I love the open back thing because it seems like that bass is so omnidirectional, it just kind of, it's like, it's like slipping into a warm bathtub. It just feels great. So we've heard the telly, let's go ahead and get some humbuckers on this bad boy. Okay, so now we're in humbucker land. I'm gonna start by swip, flipping the switch. I'm glad I did, because it's roughly the same volume. Now if I left it the other way, ooh, that's a lot of guitar. <laughs> So, what I like about that, it just, it's a very easy way of doing it. 
but this tone's great, man, you know. Come on, man. That's that is pretty warm. Bring it to the middle. Love that bridge. Now that's all well and good, but knowing our demographic, you're thinking, how's it sound dirty? So let's try it. Now, one thing I noticed about that, some amps, when you switch between a clean and dirty tone, the reverb becomes overpowering in the dirty channel. Now, here's where our verb is in the clean. You know, nice, kind of right, right where you want it. Put in that dirt, and it's roughly the same. It remains subtle. So I don't know what they did, what kind of alchemy, but good on you. That's a very cool, cool way to do it. Uh, because that's the thing with, with channel switching, your effects are just, I don't have a channel switching amp probably because that's what happens. The, the, uh, when I change my effects, it, it makes it so much different on each one that I just like to heck with it. I just get my drive from pedals, but I would like to have a system like this. And with the effects loop, you could get the same thing on your swirly bits and your delay bits get them consistent and clean and dirty. So, very cool. Uh, now when I put the bypass on, It just makes me want to rock out like a 12-year-old at Guitar Center on Saturday, annoying everybody. That's a very, there's some great tones in this amp. Great to see an American company just, you know, really putting together great stuff. So, good on you too, Rock. I really enjoy it. Uh, to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, Instagram, all that jazz. Uh, this is John Bolger. Till next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.